Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. I'm the first time you visit my channel. Welcome, my name is Tiffany. And today I'm gonna share with you guys some transitional outfit ideas. I feel like once it hits September, all the fall related stuff like pumpkin spice, <laughs> apple picking, all these stuff just start popping up. So I figured I wanna share with you guys some of the transitional outfits from summer to fall season and just also help you to bring some of your favorite summer items into the fall. Without further do let's get this video started but before we do if you guys haven't done so yet please do subscribe down below to lazy sundays i do a lot of these kind of videos so if you guys are interested definitely subscribe down below all right so let's start with this easiest outfit yeah, i'm just wearing a typical summer outfit white crop top high waist shorts and then like sneakers to transition this really simple summer outfit into full outfit i was simply just wear this kind of oversized jacket. This one is from Urban Outfitters and it's a light brown jacket and the material itself is really thick so that's why it's pretty cozy. When it comes to transition outfits, you usually don't have to wear too much of a full items but this style gives you that full vibe but it's really simple so it's like easy to recreate. And then add a canvas bag or tote bag and then you're good to go. I feel like this definitely gives me that like a girl next door vibe or like a you know casual day in the city, farmer's market kind of look. So I really like it. I thought this is really like a simple way to transition into fall. Alright, so this is another very simple summer outfit. I feel like this is just a really simple outfit that you can rock any time of the year, but I usually wear white t-shirts around summertime. So the white t-shirts from Maywell. This pair of dad jeans is from Abercrombie. The bottom, I'm just simply pairing this with a pair of Birkenstock. I feel like that's just screen summer to me. To make this outfit more fall appropriate, I said to add on this baby blue <laughs> tweed vest from Mango. This is a little bit oversized and then the material itself is pretty thick so it does add on to another layer to make yourself a little bit more cozy than just wearing a simple white t-shirt. I also feel like this kind of outfit definitely screams one of those early fall days. It's not too cold yet so you can still wear a uh, short sleeve. Also, I decided to switch out my Birkenstock sandal and then change it into my uh, Vagabond boots. These are my go-to boots that I bring this out every year. So comfortable and so put together and classic looking. Yeah, that's simply it. I just thought that's such an easy way to transition. The fast definitely add on some full vibe to it and also kind of cr create some layers for this really simple kind of summery outfit. Okay, so this is another summer outfit I like to wear on a daily basis. It's like very casual, oversized, baggy graphic t-shirts that I got from Urban Outfitters. I actually like to tuck in the shirt underneath so that it kind of crops a little. I love the koi fish graphic it's so cute and it's also like kind of muted washed out purple so that the design itself is not too in your face and then i'm just wearing this pair of short shorts um this one's from abercrombie this pair with this sneakers it's very like summery very colorful kind of casual summer outfit and to transition this into fall i will simply just wear an oversized jacket like this one from mango for accessories i thought this will look really cute with a black cap and then for the shoes i decided to switch out of my sneakers and put my Doc Martens on. It just looks so cute. Um, I thought I looked like such a badass and also very sporty at the same time. I always love the look denim on denim. I especially love how like there's like different shade of denim. So this is like a perfect way to kind of challenge your denim on denim inner child, I guess. And also I feel like denim jacket is like a must when it comes to fall winter time. It just goes with anything and it kind of it keeps you warm too. So next I style with this mini dress. Um, this one is from Urban Outfitters. I got this a while back, but I'm pretty sure they still have this in style just because it's like pretty classic style. I said get this like a really cool baby blue color. Gonna show off my pouch a little bit, but whatever, everyone has a pouch. Um, I love to wear this during the summertime, so I figured I should bring this into the fall as well. And how I will style this kind of dresses for the fall time, I will simply wear these um, boots, these tall boots. These ones are from Looks Like Summer, and they're a little bit chunky. I really like them. Um, I think it just makes my legs look skinnier. And on top, I will just wear this kind of like, oversized leather jacket. Um, I thought this 
look is super badass, super cool. Um, I will definitely wear this to dinner or something like that. Um, it's so casual at the same time. I don't know why. Because just because I'm not wearing heels, but I still feel like powerful and sexy. This oversized uh, leather blazer or faux leather blazer is from Nasty Girl. I bring this out every season and then it, they have this every season. So definitely check it out. So yeah, this is essentially my look. I thought this was really cute. Um, really like city vibe if you are going out with your girls for a drink. This is definitely a, uh, a look. And next we have this mini skirt. I love wearing mini skirts in the summertime or skorts. It's just like super easy to look cute. This muted croc printed uh, denim mini skirt is from AG, which I got it from Revolve's website a while back. Um, love it. I thought this fits pretty well and then it's pretty stretchy which I like. For summer in general, I like to wear a mini skirt with a crop top like this. Um, and then for the bottom, I just wear these kind of like platform sandals, just really easy. And to wear the same mini skirt in the fall season, I decided to wear the same tall boots from Looks Like Summer. Um, I thought this would look really cute with the mini skirts and also give me extra warmth. And instead of wearing these kind of crop tops, I would just wear a white linen shirt or any kind of like long sleeve shirt and just put it on top. Um, and then depending on what you want to do, I would either tie a knot in the middle or I would just let it all loose uh, depending on how much comfort you have with that kind of outfit. This linen shirt, I got it from Mango, one of my favorite linen shirts of all time. It's just so cute and then just fits so well. 100% linen. So yeah, I love this outfit. I thought this was super cute and it's definitely having that transitional vibe. Another way how I will incorporate fall into my summer outfit is to just wear a flannel shirt. So for example, I am just simply wearing this white tank top that I got from Amazon and then this uh, mini skirt from Princess Polly. It's so cute. And then on the bottom, I'm just wearing my Birkenstock. It's like a perfect classic summer outfit and for me to make this look more full I will just simply wear this flannel this is an oversized flannel that I thrifted I think thrifting is the best way to find your favorite type of flannels there are so many <laughs> in the thrift stores I'm just wearing my Doc Martens and then with a the little white socks just to add a little layer I feel like high socks with boots usually look so cute together when it comes to fall season and for accessories you can just wear a belt bag I like to wear my belt bag as a shorter bag sometimes so this is how I usually do it it's such a cute outfit it's another kind of outfit I like to wear in the summer it's very simple but it's like easy breezy kind of vibe um, basically I'm just wearing a burlette this burlette is from Zara but you can wear any kind of burlette sometimes I wear like a sports bra or something like that Super easy. On top, I'm just wearing this like oversized linen shirt as a cover up, um, just because if I just wear like this, it will be like a little too much. So I'd always like to have a little cover up with me. Um, sometimes if it's too hot, though, I'll just put it around my waist. I just like to wear these kind of like straight leg pants. This one is from Yes Style, so cute, and then so so like very flattering on me. And then sneakers. Very simple, very summery kind of vibe. And to change this outfit up for the fall, I will just switch out that linen shirt and then I will just wear this blazer. This blazer is thicker. I thrifted this blazer a long time ago and I'm obsessed with it. It's just oversized, has that boxy feeling as well. It's very structured. Um, blazer, when you wear blazer in the fall, it's just instantly it makes you look super powerful. I don't know what it is. I think it's just because the the shorter pads and stuff like that and you're still gonna look pretty sexy because of the burlet underneath i think it's like a really cute way to take on suits it's like a casual business casual i don't know but i just like yeah this is such a cute outfit and i'll definitely wear it in the fall all right next we have this really cute really flattering slip dress i love wearing slip dresses in the summer i just think they're so easy to style with and so easy to put on you know off you go this one is from reformation i got this long time ago. It's probably one of my first Reformation purchase. Um, I just love the red color. I love the floral detail throughout. Um, and I also love this slit. I think this slit is 
so cute. How I usually wear this in the summer is just to wear this with a pair of walking shoes or sneakers. And how I will transform this dress into a faux outfit, I will just simply wear a cardigan on top of it. It's like so cozy. Mine is from Cezanne and it's like a blush pink color. I actually think the, the color matches really well with the red. It's just like a very femininity kind of outfit. Um, and instead of letting the cardigan let loose, I decided to wear a belt underneath and tuck that in that way. So if you can see, here is a belt that I'm using it to secure um, my cardigan so it's not like all the way down here. For the bottom, I am just wearing my Doc Martens boots. I think it adds some coolness into this outfit as well, just like a mix of femininity and uh, boyish cool. And I love the slit, obviously, so I thought this is such a cute outfit. And this is another example of how I will transition my dresses into the fall season. This is a Maxi dress from Buy Me Now, and it's so cute. I love this like really simple brown gingham print, and then also I love these cutouts, and then you have to tie things around the back. I thought this is so cute. I also love how this like flow out, and it's not like too skin tight to your body. If you want some cover up, I will always bring like a cardigan with me. Depending on the outfit, depending on the dress. This cardigan is from Free People, and I'm obsessed with it. It's just like really cropped. But it's also very oversized baggy, so it's like really has that casual carefree vibe again. It goes really well with this dress. That's how I usually wear my dresses in the fall. I always just make sure I have something to cover myself in, in case it gets cold, and I just always wear a pair of boots. So yeah, that's it guys. These are just some of the early fall transitional outfits that I like to wear. And I think all of these outfits are so cute, and I hope you guys do too. And I hope you guys find this video helpful. And if you guys do, please do give me a thumbs up and definitely subscribe down below to Lazy Sundays. And yeah, I will see you guys in the next video. I have a lot of video requests coming up, and so I'm very excited to share with you guys what I have planned. Definitely subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!